Hello Gupshapers, welcome back to another episode of Football Gupshap. Uh, Gupshapers, if you can please uh, subscribe to this channel. If you could please uh, press the bell button icon so you could receive the new notifications for any episode which uh, comes to this channel. As well as not only that, if you could please share this channel amongst your friends and family. You could share it on uh, different social media platforms uh, such as Twitter, Facebook and WhatsApp. So friends, let's start uh, with today's episode. We'll be speaking about the transfers. We'll be also speaking about the deadline day approach. It's only two days remaining and we still have to see many clubs who have to finish their deals. Uh, we still have to see many players who have been linked for so long this summer have to uh, finish their moves. Uh, and many of the transfer moves we'll also be discussing about which are not going to take place due to many reasons such as financial mostly because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic outbreak. So friends, uh, without any delay, we'll start today's episode. Uh, as you know that the transfer deadline uh, day is approaching nearby and we could see many clubs uh, spending big money and uh, especially some might uh, do some uh, panic buys as well and uh, every year we see the same situation so without any ado we'll start with the first big heavy news which is to do with Manchester United uh, as you know that uh, yesterday uh, Manchester United due to their inactivity in the transfer market uh, they were pretty much criticized by the fans and just out of nowhere Edison Cavani name has come up and Edison Cavani would be signing for Manchester United he was a free agent he was released by PSG and the contract uh, is been uh, reported to be of 200,000 per uh, week uh, 200,000 per week as well as not only that there is also a report that the agent fee is quite hefty as well they're discussing about that they're negotiating about that first it came to be that uh, Kawani might not sign for Man Manchester United uh, but out of nowhere uh, it seems that United are gonna go and purchase Edison Kawani uh, Edison Kawani has been seen as a, pro a prolific uh, uh, outscorer in PSG and he could uh, produce the same results for Manchester United although he's not of that uh, good age he's uh, 33 years old but still he could uh, produce some goals and he could also help the youngsters in the team such as Mason Greenwood. So this move is almost uh, seen as a welcome by Manchester United fans. Most of them they wanted uh, Jadon Sancho or someone of the same uh, what uh, like kind of a better player or a better signing. But so far uh, United fans are uh, quite welcoming to this deal. So moving on to the next uh, topic which has to do with uh, the primary target which is Jadon Sancho. Uh, everybody knows that United wanted Jadon Sancho. Uh, this saga has uh, never been uh, like near to the closure and every day there is a new twist. Sometimes it feels like that it would never end and it would continue but so far uh, the news have been reported is that Jadon Sancho might not complete his move and that is why Usman Dembele names always uh, comes up that there is an alternative to Jadon Sancho and Dembele would be the perfect uh, alternative to uh, Jadon Sancho so uh, there are reports that perhaps in this transfer window Dembele uh, might also not leave Barcelona but uh, we do not know in what uh, direction does the transfer happens uh, do United go for Dembele or for Sancho we will find it out in the next 48 hours and uh, as far as it seems many United fans are in Sancho camps many United fans are in Dembele camp but we'll see that how does it this turns out to be moving on to the next uh, target which has to do with United is Alex Telles everybody knew that Alex Telles is a left back which United badly need but so far as the deadline day approaches we could see that Telles might be staying at Porto for one more season and he might sign with United as a free agent uh, next summer so this is one of the uh, moves which could happen and also not happen uh, we still need to see what does United board do in regarding to this move uh, mostly fans would love to see Telles playing in United this season and uh, they would want this move to be uh, done and completed but let's see if uh, this takes place or not moving on to the next topic we will be discussing about Arsenal Arsenal's Torreira has been signed by Atletico Madrid on loan uh, it was reported that uh, Torreira might move on permanent basis but so far due to COVID-19 financial reasons Atletico Madrid have opted for a loan uh, perhaps maybe to purchase next year and uh, it seems that Arsenal are looking for a replacement for Torreira and the news uh, which has come around is that Hossein Aour from Lyon has decided to stay for one more year we might see him playing for Lyon for another year uh, the reason is due to the fact that the Arsenal couldn't produce uh, 50 million euros in order to acquire him so 
so we might see him playing in Lyon. As for the next uh, transfer target which Arsenal are looking towards is Jorginho of Chelsea. As you know that Jorginho has not been able to produce goods in Chelsea when he has moved uh, since he has moved from Na Napoli and uh, Arsenal are looking towards him because they need a central defensive midfielder and they seem to uh, see that uh, perhaps Jorginho is a perfect fit. Now talking about the exits, we'll be speaking about Chelsea now, we'll be talking about Chelsea exits. Uh, Bakayoko uh, is seemed to be joining Napoli as well as there are talks about Hassan Udoi who have been a target of Bayern Munich since last three or four windows. He has been reported to uh, join Bayern Munich but so far Lampard has turned it down. He sees uh, Hudson Udoi as the a perfect candidate in his team to play on the wings uh, but so far uh, let's see in the next 48 hours what t happens apparently there was uh, an offer from Bayern Munich which was of loan and then on permanent purchase for 70 million euros it has been turned down uh, the next uh, person will be speaking about is uh, Alonso Alonso has been reported to be leaving Chelsea and his destination seems to be Inter Milan we still have to see that if Inter Milan will uh, put in a bid or will they uh, take him on loan or so uh, going on to uh, speaking on to the next uh, we'll be speaking about uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Uh, Tottenham Hotspurs are looking for Foyt to leave and he might be joining Villarreal on loan and plus a permanent purchase for next year for 15 million euros. Uh, we might also see another name called Ryan Sassenio. Uh, he will be also moving on loan. Uh, the reported club is Hoffenheim of Bundesliga. He will be playing uh, his trade in Bundesliga and it seems that the loan would do him good uh, as he has not been able to produce goods for Jose Mourinho. The last uh, topic we'll be speaking about is Bayern Munich. They have uh, bought Mark Roca for about 15 million euros. Uh, he seems to be a perfect candidate to play in central defensive midfielder. Uh, he seems to be a replacement for Thiago, uh, which is a very uh, brilliant purchase by Bayern M Munich. And uh, he will uh, produce goods. He is a pretty good footballer, uh, pretty uh, inept in uh, technically, and he could produce passes uh, similar to as Thiago used to do in Bayern Munich. So, friends, thank you very much for watching uh, Football Gapsha. Please subscribe to this channel. Your support is pretty much needed. Please share this uh, channel amongst your friends and family. Press the like button. Please do give your comments or any suggestions and uh, your support is pretty much needed. Thank you very much for watching Football Grab Shop. See you in the next episode. Thank you.